All right, so I thought it would be interesting to show you how I make green juice using a blender because I have tried making juice with a regular juicer. Um, well, there's different types of juicers, but I think it was the Breville that I originally tried and I ended up returning it because I found that the technique I had initially been using with my blender worked, I felt, better and was more fun. Um, so I'm going to show you the recipe that I typically use and then I'll show, show you like my process and like just throw some little tips and things along the way, things that I've learned and uh, recommend. So let's get started. Alright, so what you're going to need is some apples. Uh, I have two large ones and then two small ones just because I'm trying to use up the small ones. Um, so I would say typically I go for th about three apples in relation to like this amount of parsley. And I highly recommend if you can grow your own parsley, I mean, not only is it just better as far as like, you know, better nutrients and that you have control over like, you know, no pesticides and stuff like that. Not you can't get organic parsley, but I don't know, there's just nothing like growing your own. But the biggest benefit to growing your own is the fact that it's easily accessible. So I find myself drinking more green juice because I always have fresh parsley. Just because parsley goes at least Maybe I'm just not storing it well, but um, just fresh herbs, they don't last that long. So, um, so having it on hand is super nice. Obviously, if that's not possible, you just go and buy it at the store. Um, and then, like I said, apples. Uh, I, always, I try to get organic if I can. Um, a lemon and some water, and then I'm going to add some ice cubes too. One of the things that I always do is, of course, I rinse everything and I wash my apples and I wash my lemon with, I used to have like a bio wash, I think it was called, but I ran out of it and I realized why can't I just use a little bit of my dish soap, just like a tiny bit like what and water down. Like I pour a little into my hands, I put a little water and I suds it up and then I just, you know, I just do each apple and then like, and the lemon and I just let it sit for a little bit and then I rinse them off. And um, yeah, I figured if you're putting this on your dishes, and it's, you know, it's a good brand as far as, you know, natural ingredients. Um, and then, oh, you'll also want a, I have like just a, a glass bowl here. And I have a, a paint strainer bag from Home Depot. Um, I also use, I've also tried muslin cloth and it works great it works just as well as far to, as far as straining capability but i find that i like the bag better because i mean one you can wrap it around the bowl like that and it's got an enclosure whereas like with the the muslin cloth it like because it's just a square piece of cloth it like seeps out of it too easily whereas this i feel like i can close it up better so okay and then of course a cup and a straw i think that's pretty obvious but a cutting board and a knife and a blender. <laughs> These are the things you will need and roses and a caterpillar. No. Okay. The first thing is to prep the produce and the, uh, this is a pretty powerful blender. This is a Blendtec. Let me turn it on. Um, Blendtec. I don't know what the model is. I think there's different models. Um, I used to have a KitchenAid and that works fine too. Um, I find that with this blender though, like I don't have to cut the produce as small um, and it definitely processes it, process, processes it down into like a finer, smoother consistency, which is great when you're making smoothies, but when you're making juice, it's really not that big of a deal, at least from my point of view. Maybe there's more to it. Um, a, like a higher powered blender is better because it breaks the cells of the fruits and vegetables down to where you're getting better access to the nutrients. I don't know. I don't know much about that. So I don't know much about something. I don't want to talk about it and spread invalid information. Um, okay. So all the apples and okay. So one thing I realized is one thing I learned over time is that if I want to make, like if I'm making a lot of green juice and typically I do make a good bit is I like to put in the apples first. Although I have seen people put in the greens first. I'm not really sure why, but I find like it's, I, I, I add less water 
which I always like better because then the flavor's not as watered down. The less water I have to add, the more flavorful it is. I also, I put like seeds and stems, all of it in there, because it's getting, it's getting ground up and it's getting filtered. And I'm, I bet there's like, you know, nutrients of some kind in there, I don't know. Just seems like, yeah, put it all in. Eat it all. Okay. That's a lot of apple. That's a lot of apple. <laughs> okay, and then if I get organic lemon, I include the rind, except for this part here. I mean, I probably could throw this in, but so, but I slice it really thin. I think I need to sharpen my knife. And I know Steve, my boyfriend is a chef and he tells me that you're supposed to cut like this. I hopefully this isn't the shot, I don't know, but, and I always forget to because it's, we'll save your fingers and, oh geez. And I've cut my fingers quite often. I'm surprised I have all my fingers intact, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I've got my leaven chopped up, so I'm gonna throw that in. Now you can see the blender's getting pretty full, so um, I'm gonna blend this up first. So I'm gonna add the water, and that should be enough. I might end up needing more. And my legs are getting tired because I am in like a uh, half squat split so that I can be in the shop. I just dry my hands. All right, let's see if that was enough water. Okay, and definitely, if you get the paint strainer bags from Home Depot, did I say how much? They're like a couple dollars. So they're really cheap. So that's a good thing. And they last a while. The only problem is there is a, um, because there's a seam, like stuff gets caught in the seam. So I don't know if that's like really, really bad or not. I feel like when like when it dries, most of it flakes off, but there's definitely still some that like hangs out in there. And I don't know if that's good or bad. I always wash it. I always make sure I wash it um, after I'm done. And a lot of times I'll like, I'll let it soak in some soapy water too. So I feel like that kills off any bacteria. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good thing. So just throwing it out there. I say probably good to use filtered water or bottled water, distilled water. Okay, so what I like about the blend deck is that there is a whole juice button. So that's all I gotta do is press this little whole juice button. So let's see, hopefully there's enough water in here. All right, so I just like to get it mostly mushed up. I don't wanna grind it for too long. Then I'm going to add the parsley in. Now, I, um, depending on what I have on hand, so these are the three ingredients that I use, parsley, apples, lemon, to keep it simple, it's easy. But I like to add other stuff. For example, today I added some, I added a couple carrots and the carrot greens and a little piece of ginger. Um, if I have celery on hand or cucumber on hand, I'll add those in. so good um, it's like a if you've never had a green juice with like this like the similar ingredients it's very refreshing um, it smells very I think it's the parsley I feel like parsley okay so I've got my my bowl with my uh, my paint stringer bag now my juice stringer bag and I just get every little last bit in there And I like to make sure my hands are clean before I, and I know the cleaners I wash them. But sometimes I, I put a lot of hand lotion on my hands, so sometimes I have hand lotion on and I'm like, that's probably gross to be squeezing this bag with hand lotion, so I wash it. And now you can just see, I mean, it just starts coming out automatically. Um, look at that color. And then you just uh, squeeze it. Oh, I forgot one thing. I actually forgot this earlier today when I made it is I usually throw some ice in just to make it cold um, because by now everything's become like room temperature, but I'll just add ice to the glass. But I do like to throw in some ice cubes. All right, and then once you, uh, you've squeezed the majority, I could probably keep going, but I'm impatient because I'm filming right now, so I'm gonna be done with that. Okay, so now I've got my, I got lots of ice in there to make it nice and cold because I like it. I like it nice and cold. Okay, look at that. 
beautiful color, love it. Pleasing to the eyes, to the taste buds, to the tummy, to the body. And okay, so one tip that I just thought of was um, when you're first starting out with green juice, like you might, you might think that more greens, like that you try to like put in as many greens as possible because it's healthier, because that's what I thought when I first started. I was like, I need to try to do more greens, less fruit. But I found that if I did more fruit and made it taste good and like made it taste sweet, I would drink it more often. I would be more willing to drink it more often and be more consistent in drinking it. So I feel like if that, you know, if that makes sense to you, then I would recommend going that route to start off with making it as sweet as you want. Like make it taste good, make it taste good. Because then you can slowly, like when you feel inspired to, cut back a little on the apples if, if you want. I mean, you don't have to. Um, if you're someone that like doesn't want as much sugar in their diet or carbs in their diet, then that might be something you want to do. Personally, I've gotten to the point where I really don't mind the carbs or the sugar from it. Um, so here we go. And of course too, adjusting just the ingredients in general, like you know, if you want less lemon, put less lemon in it. It doesn't have to be a whole lemon. I, mine is slightly different every time. Oh my God, that's so good. I made it earlier and I made it too, um, I didn't make it sweet enough and I put some ginger in it and it was just, it was a little too tangy. It was good, but it was just a little tangy. But this is, this is more like it. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Well, that's how I make my delicious green juice. And uh, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Oh, little caterpillar, I was almost gonna eat you. Okay, let's put you on the roses for now and I will take you outside when I'm done. Oh, oh geez. Here, you just hang out there. Okay, almost ate you. <laughs> Protein. Um, oh, I got some pulp on the side here. How'd you get in there? Who that? I'm making another video. Howdy. What you doing, yo yo? I tried doing like more greens because of it. Hi, buddy. Um, root. Yeah? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's a big man, big man cat. All right, go play. Okay, cat hair all over me. So, ah, oh, 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 it's in the open my eyes. Every day, 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 every day